if you love playing the blues you need legs and for legs before you start constructing your own legs you have to learn few basic things i mean how you start them how you mid them how you finish them and things like that so when you start before you start playing your own legs for your own solos and everything then you need few licks to learn and also these licks are not uh, i mean they are not limited to the space for i'm telling you like if uh, because these are very basic uh, blues skill which is a minor pentatonic so if you're playing them you can just learn right now on this uh, on the one space and you can experiment them on the different spaces of the guitar neck this is the a minor pentatonic scale which all of these three legs are from like and this leg is you know first box which is this one slow what i'm doing here i'm just i'm just using a hybrid picking which you don't need to do that if you're not good at it so you can just you can use a plectrum as well so what i'm doing in the fourth fret on your e string and fourth fret on your b string and i'm sliding them to the fifth fret on the both string like and i'm and i'm doing it two times I'm using my finger on E string and I'm using my plectrum on B string. And then after that I'm going to 7th fret on your G string and I'm pulling off to the 5th fret on the same string. From the start I'm vibrating on the 5th fret which is your C note on your G string. So D to C on the G string, pulling off, and then I'm just I'm not playing this A note on your D string, which is the root note of this scale. So I'm just even you can play this note as well, but I'm just I'm not just I'm just just uh, pressing it on this A note. So from the start. So what I'm doing after this pulling off to the A note, I'm going back to the C note with the fifth fret on the G string and vibrating, and then come back and finishing my lick on the A note, which is the root note. So. Real slow. The second lick is actually in the BB box, which is this lick is a third box of A minor pentatonic, and this is a very famous BB box. We all know that. So this lick starts on the normal speed, something like. So what I'm doing, I'm starting on the A note, which is tenth fret on your B string, and I'm just half bend to the C note. So what I'm I'm bending my twelfth note to the C note, which is thirteenth note on your G string. Oh, sorry, on your B string. So start with, and I'm going back to A note. So start with A, tenth fret, and then you're bending your twelfth note to the thirteenth fret, which is your C note, and I'm bending actually B note to the third thirteenth note, and then come back to the A note. So for the first part is. And then you go back to the second part, which is actually. Use a pinky on the third fret on the B string, and then you go to 11th fret on your G string, which is F sharp, which is not the part of A minor pentatonic notes, but it is a part of A major pentatonic scale. So it looks good overall. So, so where I'm from F sharp, 
11th note on your G string I'm go back to my root note which is A so real slow it's a very simple lick but very nice lick so what what I tell you do when you practicing these licks you can just take some part of the licks and use it anywhere in your neck and this is also very nice which is coming back and you see how we are just vibrating the string how we are just pulling off how we are bending the notes and this is a kind of blues you know feel we want otherwise this if if i do not play any bend or any vibrato on this slick it will sound like this it does not sound very nice so so the third lick is a groovy one so this goes like from 7th fret with your a note for your d string and you go to the 5th note on your g string which is c note and what i'm doing is sliding down to the a note i'm not just coming straight if you do not slide then it will sound like this and you you don't want that and as for the second part i'm doing exactly the same same notes but slightly quicker This is an interesting part of the leg. You can you you can use the small parts in a different areas of your neck, and you just you know while you while you exploring the overall neck. So so I, it's the same thing. I can do like. This. The leg goes like seventh fret on your D string and goes to fifth fret on your G string. and the second part is you bending your seventh note on your g string half bend mostly quarter bend i would say and this is going to this part this note which is actually your blue note so and then you going to the e note which is the fifth fret on your b string something like and you have to do it two times and exactly that you have to play the second time little slightly quicker and what i'm doing when i'm ending the ending this leg on your on the g string 7 to 5 fret so second so so the second part is and vibrating the c note which is the fifth fret on the g string so combine i like told you for the blues you have to use the bends and pull off or anything if so so let's see if i'm not using anything this will be sound like this no feel right so i'm sliding to a you can wait as well and you can play the same lick on a different area on the slightly low down the neck I hope you like this video and you want more this kind of videos so for that you have to do one simple thing just subscribe to this channel 
and also say anything if you want to say in the comment box and i'll see you next time till then stay safe and bye bye